remember to like and subscribe. Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Jay with Kinetic, and a call I've been getting a lot recently on the DM7 is where are the output port settings? Uh, things you'd be familiar with with the CLQL, like output port delay and then output port attenuation or adding gain. Like, where is that on the DM7? So let's jump in. This is uh, pretty straightforward. So there's a couple places where you can have output port manipulation, but the first place is simply going to be IO device and then output port right here. These are the physical outputs on the console. And if I select a bank, you'll see output port gain there, uh, polarity. And then if I hit assign, I now have delay. So like stereo A, whatever the matrix is, and then the output that's assigned with, uh, you know, that bus. So output one through eight, output nine through 16. This is what you're gonna be looking for and you're gonna be familiar with. If it's something with Dante, I can go to Dante out and now I have the same settings. So gain right there, delay, delay scale, all the things you'd be familiar with with the CLQL line. Just one more part on this console, which is output port trim. So let me show you guys what that is. So on the console, from the boot menu, if you hold down, select on fader D, we are gonna load the boot menu on the small control screen here. And this is where we're gonna have global output trim of just the physical ports on the back of the console. Cool. So in the maintenance screen right here, you can see output, output port trim. And all we need to do, you have 16 selections here and your AES EVU out. And this is just reflective of the physical uh, outputs on the back and the physical AES outputs on the back. We just can select there and this little warning, but um, the value is there and the encoder for the D button is what we use to make those selections. And as you can see, it, it's very fine. Minus 1.5 or plus 1.5. And I think this menu exists or what I would speculate is, is we are calibrating these output ports and that's why it's here. So for the same reason that we have fader calibration, input port trim and uh, <clears throat> touchscreen calibrations, we now have a nice calibration for the output port. So if I was to meter these and they were slightly off, I could make these trim adjustments right here. So again, thanks for watching and hope this helps you in some meaningful way. Have a good day. Remember to like and subscribe.